Hi, today I will show you how to create a video to help students construct knowledge of the text. I chose Edpuzzle for this task as it creates interactive videos that can be used on any devices. Also, Edpuzzle can be used by students without a connection to the platform, which makes it easier to use with students of all ages. So first, I'll connect to my Edpuzzle account using the Google sign-in with my professional email. Once I'm in here, I'll have to find the YouTube video I'm looking for. In my case, it's called The Secret Resistance. I'll try to find it like this. Okay, so on YouTube, I'll find the correct video and I'll choose it. Once I'm ready, I want to edit this video. I could watch it if I needed to before, but I've watched it already, so I know I want to edit this video. I could cut some parts of the video if I wanted to. I could do a voiceover, uh, so this one doesn't allow it. Some video allow for voiceover, or I can ask questions. So for me, this is what I want to do now. I don't want to generate questions with AI because I don't want my questions to be key elements to find. I really want my questions to be discussion questions among my students uh, for them to discuss together as a group and build their understanding of the text together and better understand the background information of the topic that we're going to be addressing. So there will be open-ended questions. To put an open-ended question, I will first watch the video, find the moment where I want to do the video, and ask the open-ended question, just like this. So I want to put my first question here. So I'll stop this, the video, and I'll put open-ended question. So I want the students to reflect on the possible topic of the video. So I want them to predict what the video will be about using the title and this quote. So I'll ask them, using the title of the video and this quote, can you predict what the video will be about? Ideally, the, the students would do this in a team because we want them to discuss and construct construct their meeting together you could ask them to do it individually first so they can they can have a couple ideas to write down but the main event is the discussion between the students so i will save this answer and continue playing the video until my next question In 1943, Allied aircraft swooped over Nazi Germany, raining tens of thousands of leaflets on people below. Written by anonymous Germans, the leaflets urged readers to renounce Hitler, to fight furiously for the future, and to never give up hope. Their call to action rippled through homes and businesses, and news of their message even reached concentration camps and prisons. I'll add another question here. So. What do you find interesting or surprising about the leaflets? So again, as you can see, my questions are not questions that have a right or wrong answer. They're really discussion questions uh, for the students to discuss. So I'll say I won't, I won't write any other. So let's pretend that my quiz is finished. I'll click on finish right here. So I have my video here. And if I want to assign it to a class, I could uh, assign it to a class. But if I want my students to be able to use it, I don't really need to record their answers because it's, they're not right or wrong answers, they're discussion questions. So I would only share uh, this preview. So I will I would copy this link right here and share it with my students. The video is public, so anybody can can see it. So it's called Share Preview. It's a preview because you can do it, but it doesn't record your answers. If you want the stu the students' answers being recorded, uh, recorded, you'll have to assign it to a class. For this task, we don't want to assign it, so we can share the preview. You can either give the link to your students on your 
um, on your a platform such as Teams or, or Google Classroom, or you could create a QR code for them to scan it if they have iPads. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you.